Hey guys, and welcome to this Hobby Tips video on how to paint Pale Flesh on Mr. Sinister for MCP. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. It's my first one of these, and uh, I thought I'd start with Mr. Sinister. He brings back a lot of uh, fond memories from my childhood, you know, the old X-Men uh, cartoon here in Australia. We had that. Uh, I'm sure it was around the world as well, um, you know, in various countries. But uh, yeah, for me, it was uh, pretty fun. I was at the right age for it, and I'm sure many watching this were at the right age for it too. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be doing MCP. It's uh, one of those things, especially this particular design of Mr. Sinister is basically from that cartoon or from the early days of the comic and uh, the cartoon was mod modeled or designed off that so uh, yeah this brings back yeah, a ton of memories anyway so today we're going to be going through uh, doing the flesh on, on, on this mini and uh, we're going to be doing a very sort of pale blue uh, I know something different right uh, more blue but uh, you know just a simple like very pale blue to gray white uh, flesh because he does have you know in, in, in the comics and the cartoon and so on he's very very much a very just plain white kind of flesh tone but when you're painting a mini you want to put a bit more into it than just than just plain white and um, you know so using blue is a, is a great one that's also good for black and so on but re really good for really pale white white flesh so we've got a couple of colors here that we're going to be using a bit of a layo here and we've got some uh, blue gray I've been using these colors on uh, some of the night haunt models that we've been um, painting on the channel that should have come out by the time this video is out and we've got some pale blue here and some pale uh, gray blue uh, plus white obviously and um, we're going to just do a simple gradient and build that up and get some nice colors down and, and really get a uh, something that's a bit more uh, interesting than just than just plain white and maybe at the end we'll do a little tiny bit of color glazing as I like to do with some shade uh, colors from GW and just add a bit of life around the eyes you know uh, the mouth and so on and, and towards the back there uh, the hairline and that sort of thing but it should look really cool so uh, grab yourself a Mr. Sinister and I guess let's take a trip down uh, memory lane hey okay so to begin with we've got to set up that gradient so like usual uh, you'll see me set that up that's all there going from dark to light there's about seven layers there going from that uh, that blue gray all the way up to that pale gray color and so the first step is just basing uh, the skin and so we're using that blue gray just straight out of the pot a little bit of water in there and you'll just see me basing uh, the skin there just to take it away from black and set us up to begin the real layers of the skin tone and so once we move into that we we're doing that blue gray mix with a little bit of the power blue which is the mid-tone and this is a, I guess a 50-50 mix and so this is really the the main uh, base color for the flesh and so you can leave a little bit of that blue gray showing through but this uh, second color here is really your first step in in uh, you know establishing the look of the of, of the flesh tone on Mr. Sinister and so once we've got that down then we can start doing our layering process and so the layering process is basically from the mid-tone so we've got that pale blue and that's really uh, where you want to start and you're, you're trying to pick off all the raised areas just like you're seeing me do uh, across the brow uh, you know this model's relatively well sculpted so there's a lot of good detail on that face and you're just picking off all the raised areas you know imagining the light coming from above and, and just uh, building in that that form uh, as you go and so once we've got that down that's your base skin tone and so now we're moving into I guess the highlight colors and so for these uh, we're now doing doing uh, pale blue mixed with a bit of the gray blue now the final uh, lighter tone this is again about a 50 50 mix and you're just going to be uh, now picking out uh, more of the raised areas and leaving a little bit more of those depressions in the face the deepest recesses not everywhere you don't want to have the same level of shadow across all of the areas but just building out a bit of that that, that light and so then once you've done that it's just the process of going through and now picking out even less and less of the model and the, the the more raised areas across the face uh, and, and, and the front of that chest and so we're using that gray blue now straight and just picking out all those highlights you're probably moving down to a, a fine detail brush here you know just picking it out and uh, give yourself a good light to go by and just you know and just take your time with it this the beauty of M MCP is that you don't have to uh, you know paint a thousand models it's just like ten or five or whatever it is so you can take your time with this and just uh, work through the process of just trying to get this flesh down and so 
So then once you've got that all the way up, now we're doing a couple of final highlights and these are more like spot highlights. So you're going to see me use a, a mix that's gray, that last gray blue color uh, mixed with a bit of white. And so that's really just for the very raised areas across the brow. You're going to see me uh, come in and touch that up and uh, just moving around mostly the front of the face and across the top of the chest and um, not really paying too much attention to the back that the neck is really covered by the cowl that he's that he's wearing so you don't have to spend a lot of time really deliberating over that and then finally uh, just that really final spot highlight that's got a lot more white in it with that gray blue color and really you're just picking out the very very uh, ends you know the end of the nose uh, the brow and so on any of those little points of light across the the top of the the forehead there uh, where the where the hairline meets um, anything like that maybe across the lip there or the, or the chin uh, you know maybe the jawline you'll just see me going around and just dotting that in and that's going to really give us our final look and so uh, beyond that what you're really now doing is uh, some final color work and so I love doing glazes and so here we're using GW shade colors the magenta the purple and the blue uh, mixed with Lamia medium and you'll see me just come in with each of these colors and really just uh, try to add a little bit of color into into the face to make it a little bit more lively so starting with the red and moving around in the creases very very light three drops of Lamia medium to like one drop of, of, of the of the shade color and just really uh, playing with it there's no there's no um, science to this you're just adding in reds blues and purples into the recesses and the shadows around the face to give you something that's a little bit more alive and more lived in uh, so it's not just plain white or blue white and you should end up with a, a really fun result and there we go some power flesh on mr. sinister well this was a, an experience it was a great trip down memory lane and uh, yeah let's take a look at him yeah, well, this was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Uh, my first MCP model, and uh, I got to say, they're actually pretty cool. You know, um, I don't think the the photo, the images, and the photos online really do them justice. They're actually really nice sculpts and 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 pretty uh, pretty detailed, really, uh, with enough flat spaces and so on to actually do some really nice uh, painting. So yeah, I really had a lot of fun with this, and uh, yeah, I'm glad this was my first because you know, I mean, Mr. Sinus is basically you know Dracula going to a Kiss concert, right? I mean, that's that's what his uh, design looks like so I gave him the little the little dribbles there coming down the side of his mouth like he's uh, you know maybe he is Dracula or maybe he's just like guzzled some concoction to make him immortal you know that sort of thing he was, he's obsessed with that so uh, yeah uh, this is this was really fun also had some experimentation with some uh, purples and yellows um, if I haven't already put a video out there'll be a video on um, blending from uh, purple to, to yellow most likely uh, I had a lot of fun with those colors as well uh, yeah just all in all pretty cool so I hope you've enjoyed this I'm gonna leave um, you know a, a nicer image from at the, for him at the end uh, and the paint list and so on as I usually do but uh, yeah you'll definitely be seeing more MCP on the channel because this was uh, yeah really cool so I yeah, hope you've enjoyed this please hit that like button subscribe button it really helps me out and I guess I'll uh, catch you on the next one